So for this one, we've got an eight inch sponge cake that I've divided into six. What I'll do is I'll put the recipe for just a normal Victoria sponge in the description box below the video. I've got a cake card that's the same size and what I've done is I've just drawn out a little triangle that's the same size as my triangles on here and I've just put a straight line across because we're making a book by stacking these up and this is going to be the edge of our book so we don't want that point at the end. So we'll cut this out and what we're going to do is start putting our pieces of cake onto here. So I'm just going to put a little bit of buttercream between each one. So I'm just using normal buttercream. I'm not going to put too much on because I don't want it to bulge out the sides. I'm just going to put a little bit on my card as well. Stick this first one on here. Okay. Now you can pipe your buttercream in between the layers if you want. I've just chosen to spread mine in with a spatula. Now, I haven't measured out my triangles, so some are slightly bigger than others, so we'll need to trim it down at the end. I'm just gonna keep on doing the same thing now. If the buttercream doesn't go to this very corner again, don't worry too much because we're gonna be trimming that corner off. So I've just put four of mine together because this is tall enough for what I want. So you can do whatever you want with the remaining cake. If you want to make yours a little bit taller than mine, that's absolutely fine. So what I'm gonna do now is cut off this corner. So we're just cutting this now across there, like so. So I'll just put it up right and check that looks right. Okay, now some of mine are slightly larger than others, so I'm just gonna trim the side to get them all nice and even. So I'm just gonna move this now onto another board for ease of moving it around. And we're just gonna completely cover this now in buttercream. You can use ganache if you prefer to use ganache. Ganache will give you a firmer finish. Now, if your cake is a little bit soft, you can stick it in the fridge or the freezer for a little bit to just firm it up so that you've not got too much movement on it when you're buttercreaming it. I haven't done that with mine, but I probably should have done. Okay, so we've buttercreamed that all over. You can take the extra off the board, but we're not gonna be keeping it on this board anyway. Smooth the surfaces as much as you can. If you've got some smoothers, you can use the smoothers on it. Again, if it's a little bit soft, just put it in the freezer or the fridge for a little bit to firm up before we work on the rest of it. So I'm taking some white fondant and we're just gonna roll it out and it's gonna cover the front and the top. So I've rolled off more than what I think I need there, but we'll just cut the extra off. I'm gonna cut a straight line at the bottom and we're gonna put this on the bottom of here like so and I'm going to cut down either side so it's in line with our cake like so and just trim down the sides as well if you need to so that you've got two straight edges like that and what you're going to do is take two smoothers now and just press on the edge to try and keep it as flat as you can so this is the edge that's going to have our pages open but we want to try and get a bit of a point on this top bit I'm pulling it too much from the front. Be careful when you are trying to get it to a point that you don't pull it too much from that side like I've done. And once you've done that, we're going to add in our little pages. So again, just taking your knife, just run lines from the edge outwards. And then we want it to look a little bit open in the centre. So what I'm going to do is just put in whereabouts I want my centre point to be and I'm just gently pushing it down a little bit with the side of my knife. So I'm just trying to push this indentation in a little bit deeper than the rest of the pages, which is where our monsters will be appearing from. And then you're going to do the same running up the sides. So you won't be able to see very well there, but just run your knife up the sides all the way along. And we'll create an indentation down the side to match your one on the top. So I'm taking a green. I've just mixed a few different greens into this and we're going to roll it out and we're going to create some side pieces now for our book. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure the side of my cake. I'm going to measure how tall it is. So this one comes to just over four inches. So I'm going to add an extra sort of quarter of an inch on top of that. And I'm going to mark on here where I want it to come to. Cut a straight line at the bottom and then we'll measure it at the other side as well. So now we're going to measure the width of it as well. So from 
across the side. So mine comes to three and a half. So I'm going to go for just a little bit bigger. And what I'll do is I'll cut a straight edge down one of these sides as well. And down here. So then I'm going to measure my width across here. I'm going to bring it to just about here. And trim. And this piece is just going to stick on the side of our book. So it's going to go on the side. Oh, I've maybe cut mine just a tiny bit big, so I'll trim a little bit off. Okay, so once you've got it to the right size, we're going to stick it to the side of our cake. If your buttercream's a bit wet, you might be able to stick it straight on. If not, just wet it a little bit and we'll attach it. And I'm just going to push it on with my smoother to make sure it's on nice and flat. And what we're going to do is add a little bit of texture to that. And then we're going to repeat the same on the back of the book as well. Right. Okay, so... I've got a little cutter now that's got a rounded edge on one side and we're just adding a bit of a scaly pattern into the front of the book. So if you prefer not to have this in, you don't have to have it. So I'm going to do this all the way around. Okay, so I've added another green piece to the back and all I've done now is cut a rectangle for the back seam of our book. So just measure it before you stick it on, or before you cut it out even. And we're just going to position that. On there like so, push it round till it fits. So what I'm going to do now is transfer the cake onto an iced cake board. Now you can ice your board completely plain or you can put a floorboard effect on. So I've just quickly done this one. Now I do have a video for making floorboards so I'll put up a link to that for you now. All I'm going to do is just put a little bit of water on my fondant where we're going to put our book. You can use royal icing if you prefer. And I'm just going to gently slide a knife underneath my cake and then transfer it across to my board. And what we're going to do now is we're going to put some wording on the front of your book. So I've got a nice limey green colour here that we're going to roll out for our lettering. Now if you want to cut them out freehand you can do, um, but I'm just going to use my little click sticks cutters and then try and change the shape of them a little bit. So I'm going to roll out this nice and thin. So these are my little click sticks that are quite easy to use because you can push them out afterwards. Um, I got these ones from Windsor Cake Craft. So I'm just going to cut out my first letter and I'm going to push, push that and it should give us just our first letter. So I'll just show you with the one letter otherwise you'll be bored watching me for ages. Okay, so this is just our starting point so that we don't have to completely do the whole thing freehand. And I'm just gonna try and move the letter around and stretch it in little bits to try and make it match the Goosebumps one. So it's a little bit bumpy looking. Okay, just like that. And you're gonna do the same with all your other letters, just moving them around a little bit to give them a bit of a bumpy edging and make them look a bit like runny goo. Okay, so I've cut out all the letters and I'm going to stick those now to the front of our book. I'm going to start from the centre, just adding a little bit of water to the back of them and then pushing it in place. It's hopefully roughly central. And then I'm going to work either side with my lettering. Okay, now we're just going to add a bit of shading around the edge of our book. I'm just going to use some coloured dusts, some edible dusts. If you've got an airbrush, you can use an airbrush for this. Okay, so I'm loading up a dry brush with some edible coloured dusts. I'll put a link in the description below to where you can get these from. Keeping it to the outside edges, like so. So I'm just going to add some little highlights in white. You don't have to add these bits if you don't want. Again, it's just food colouring. We're just going to brush some little bits on near the tops of our letters. So you'll see I'm covered in food colouring now. I had a bit of a break from the cake to start something else and I'm covered in food colouring. Um, so I've given this a few hours to sort of harden a little bit on the outside and I'm just taking some edible dusts on a dry brush. I'm going to use a black one for this and we're just going to dust the colour in the little indentation that we've made and the same down the side so 
I'm going to do the Yeti and I'm going to use some white flour and modelling paste. So for the Yeti, I'm going to make it really basic rather than going for really detailed. So I'm going to roll a bit for the body, so it's very basic shape wise. And I'm just going to put in lots of lines for the hair. I'm not going to worry too much about this area because I think we're probably going to cut this bit off because he's going to be coming out of the book. So I think probably about this corner will remove. And now I want to take another piece for his head again. Just gone for a circle. I'm not too worried about sticking it on at the moment. I'm just looking at what it looks like first. Then when we've got it made, I'll stick it all together when we put it onto the cake itself. So again, we're going to put the hair detail in. And I'm just going to use a bit of skin tone colour to mix some of my modelling paste for his face. So I'm just taking a small amount of the skin colour that we've rolled and I'm just flattening it out. I'm just bending it upwards a little bit which will become his eyes. I'm going to stick this on with a little bit of water to his face. Like that. And I'm just going to poke two eye holes in place. Just put a little bit of water in those ready for when we add the eyeballs. I'm going to take a larger piece now for the nose, which we're going to again just push on with a bit of water. We're going to put the mouth in just with a tool. So just put a line all the way along, like so. And then we're going to insert two nostrils just using the end of the paintbrush again. And I've just got a little bit of royal icing made up in a tube to hand. So I'm going to use this to give him some teeth. It's probably not the scariest looking Yeti ever, isn't mine, but it's fine. And I'm going to pipe into his eye holes, like so. Now I'm taking two small round balls for the ears. Just squashing them down a little bit. I'm just pulling them around my paintbrush a little bit so it's cupped. And we're just going to stick these on either side of the head. Taking the knife, we're just going to cut a little cube out. So this is where the body is going to sit on the side of our book. And before I sit him on the book, I'm just going to make him some arms. Again, just rolling long pieces. I'll just cut this to the size I want it. Think about that should be fine. I'll do another one to match. Just keeping them pretty simple in size and shape. Now when I put them on the cake I'll attach them properly. But just put in the little lines for the hair. And what we'll do is for the hands we'll squash it down a little bit. And I'm just going to press in to create a bit of a thumb. Again, just make sure you've still got the fur showing. Same on the other one. And then we'll start to get him on the cake in the pieces that we've got him in. So hopefully you can see, because I know you're from the above angle, so it's a little bit harder. His body is going to slot onto the cake up here. I'm just going to attach it with some of my royal icing. And I'm going to push that in place. If you push out any of the lines, just re-put them in. And then what I'm going to do is stick his arm on. Now, this is where you can't see it as well. So it'll attach to the top of his body. And it'll come round over the front of the book. Using the water, or you can use the royal icing again. I'm just placing his hand near the front of the book. Again, if you've lost any of the shape of the hair, just re-push it in with your modelling tool. Same with the next arm, when they were going to position it so it comes around the side of the book. And now we'll attach his head. Now, you can either just stick it straight on, or if you're worried that it might fall off, you can put a cocktail stick inside. 
Obviously, if you do put a cocktail stick inside, just make sure it's removed before anybody eats the cake. So we're going to put one in like so. Now you can use a piece of spaghetti if you prefer. I'm going to stick his head on with a bit of royal icing. And I'm just going to push that in place onto the body. And I'm just going to add a white, a black dot even in each eye, just with a bit of black food colouring and a small brush. Now I realise you can't see it from that angle, so I'll just show you. We've added a black bit in each eye. It's almost finished. Now you can leave it like that, or you can add a little foot. So I'm taking a small white piece now for his foot, just narrowing it at one end, keeping it nice and big at the other. Just add lots of little lines for hair all over, so we're keeping it really basic in shape. If you've got little toy characters, you can always add them rather than making them. I'm just going to push in, like so. And just make sure it's flat now at that end. We'll stick a bit of water on the side and underneath. And again, we're just going to stick it at the very bottom of the book, as if it's coming out from the side. And I'll show you a picture of it from the front so you can see what it looks like. You can add as many characters as you like, but I'm going to leave it as just that one. You might want to add spiders or anything else that's quick and easy to put on there. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video and would like to see more, please click on the images of the other videos suggested. Also, please do subscribe to my channel using the button at the bottom right hand corner of the screen. You can also visit my cake website and my Facebook page to see more cakes and ideas.